What's up, dudes and dudes? It's your man, Evan B, broadcasting live from the Butt Cave, and tonight I'd like to bring you another unboxing and review of an early release uh, Star Wars Rogue One blaster that I got my hands on uh, a couple days before Force Friday, which is uh, September 30th, coming up. Uh, but uh, me being the uh, sneaky, sneaky fella I am, I've gotten my hands on a couple uh, early release stuff this time around for Force Friday. So, I thought I would uh, open it up and share that with you guys. This is the Ca Captain Cassian Blaster. Um, Cassian Andor is his name. Um, I have very much avoided uh, any kind of spoilers for the new movie, so the pronunciations of the names is, are... Uh, a little tricky for me because I haven't spent months reading about this one. I'm, I'm really trying my best to uh, avoid any kind of spoilers. So when I get to see the movie, I get to be surprised by everything. So uh, that's how I like to do it. Uh, you guys know, uh, fans of my channel know what a huge Star Wars fan I am. And uh, that's kind of my method is I try to before the movies come out. Years ago when Phantom Menace came out, I ruined it by reading the script before the movie ever came out. And uh, this is my opportunity to uh, correct those mistakes as these new Star Wars movies are coming out. I do my best to avoid everything except for the trailers. So, that being said, uh, moving on. We have the Captain Cassian Andor Blaster, which I am super excited about. A couple things about the package. Um, this is another one of the Glow Strike Blasters, which all the blasters save the uh, lightsaber blaster uh, that I've opened from this series so far. Um, and there are videos, other videos of these bla uh, Star Wars uh, Rogue One blasters that I have reviewed already. Um, all of them have been in this Glow Strike line. One of the cool things I think that uh, that is kind of a symptom of the Glow Strike line is the blasters come with batteries already in them. So this blaster, uh, while it doesn't have anything uh, lighting up that I can see, um, and maybe that happens when you prime it. Um, it does have the sweet blaster sounds that all the other Star Wars blasters in this series have done. Um, I think that Boom Tendo himself is a bit salty about that because, uh, when he made me my, uh, custom Darth Vader blaster, he included sound effects in the trigger pull. This one will play the Imperial March. And, uh... And I, I thought that that was a wholly original idea and a really sweet idea. And maybe Hasbro did take some uh, cues from that. But these ones make sweet blaster sounds when you pull the trigger. Uh, so what I have here is my handy dandy X-Acto knife. And we're going to go ahead and just crack on into this. Uh, not a lot of information on the package. Um, no advertisements for other blasters. Um, I suspect late, in later runs of these there will be more advertisements as that is... Uh, what tends to happen, but um, I may be completely wrong there. Uh, what we have, very comfortable, right out of the package. That's nice. Uh, it looks like we have a uh, pullback prime, uh, something similar to like a, uh, I don't know, a dual strike or a man, uh, night finder or something like that. I mean, any pullback to prime kind of blaster. Um, but a very comfortable prime. It's kind of a two finger. T prime, easy to use. Um, we've got one long tactical rail across the top. Um, again, we get those blaster sounds when we pull the trigger. A relatively decent sized handle. You can see I have an adult hand and a rather large adult hand, um, but um, I'm not. The blaster is not completely um, just drowned by my hand. Um, it's a, maybe a little short for me, um, but at least holding it like yay, not super uncomfortable. Um, I think the pinnacle of excellence when it came to blaster handles in the Star Wars line was uh, in the uh, Han Solo blaster. This broom handle is really, really nice. The Ray blaster has a really similar handle, and I really like these. Um, they're, in fact, my favorite things about these blasters because not much else uh, is stuff that I really like. But, uh, you know, this is not a broom-handled uh, type of uh, grip, but it's still very comfortable, and uh, I like that. So... Pretty cool. Um, also in the package, we're going to get three of the uh, Glow Strike darts. So let's go ahead and where's my X-Acto knife? We'll sliver these bad boys out. And I'm going to correct myself and not cut towards myself um, because that's extremely dangerous. Always remember, cut away from yourself or Eagle Scout Evan B is going to come for a corner of your woodland chip. 
Um, we've got the destructions here just in case we run into any problems and I think that that's it as far as what comes in the package no other kind of advertisements or anything um, this is probably likely due to the fact that you know they try to be as secretive as possible about these kind of releases um, the stuff that they you know they're going to advertise some stuff and some stuff they're hoping uh, people don't find out about until it comes out you know the, that they're thus uh, toot toots the hype train but um, you know so on these are this early release stuff or stuff that might possible possibly fall into the hands of the dark side he 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 um i can't uh expose uh the new release stuff uh even though i'm getting to do expose the blaster a couple days early so uh, we've got her loaded there Ooh, nice little punch to that let's go ahead and let's see that again let's see that again jenny bam um so at least super up close we've got a really really nice punch let's go ahead and take this over to the butt range so we can fire through a handful of darts and see how it performs all right guys here we are at a temporary butt range and what i'm going to do is go ahead and just fire through a handful of just kind of mixed ammo i picked up i've got a vimit dart an elite dart a busby dart another elite dart and let's take some shots from about 20 feet away oh just super nice punch roll real good up close accuracy I am digging this blaster. This is this is nice. I wonder if uh, Mr. Uh, Chris Cartiera could get his hands on this. And uh, depending on the space inside for plunger tube, this could be a really nice, uh, I don't know, one of his kind of series of uh, super shooting uh, mega death blasters. But uh, Death by Nerf Blaster is his Facebook page uh, group, and I absolutely love it because he really does, uh, and his ilk really do come up with um, blasters that I think could cause some serious damage given the opportunity. From uh, opening several of these blasters over the last couple days, I uh, have a handful of these glow darts. So let's go ahead and see how this bad boy uh, charges up and fires these glow darts uh, from the glow strike line. Oh yeah, that's glowy, baby. I don't know if the camera is picking these up because it really punches hard. But uh, man, this thing is doing a great job of, uh, and that's of all the blasters in this new Glow Strike series. Um, these these uh, LEDs really do charge up the battery. You got no, um, you know, kind of half charged ones. Um, even the, the clip fled, fed blaster, um, seemed to get a really, do a really good job of getting, uh, light exposure to all the darts. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, because I always thought that the, the glow gimmick was a really nice gimmick. All right. All right. So what do we know? What do we like? What do we think? I... Um, I hate to sound like the uber fanboy man, but this is another win for me um, So far so good with the uh, with the Star Wars blasters. I really really enjoyed uh, this guy and uh, what a great uh, Sidearm to accompany this blaster both in just aesthetics and in function, you know, it really um, Once you're done with a clip fled blaster There's a lot of people that like the single shot blaster and, and with some modification I'll bet this guy could be uh, turned into just an absolute powerhouse. So um, I'm stoked. I, I'm interested to open it up and see what's going on on the inside. Um, it seems like we have some kind of clicky, slidey, typey dooley on the back. So what that's for exactly, I don't know if that means that we're going to get some kind of accessory kit that's going to slide an anchor to the back of that. I don't know. But uh, it seems like it has a little guy back there that's going to do that. Uh, other than that, like the, really the detailing is all pretty uh, self-explanatory um, as a whole though. Uh, when you prime the blaster, that's what gets that light going. And uh, as a whole, I really, really like this one. So um, another win for the Star Wars Nerf Rogue One line. Um, these have been super fun to get my hands on early and, and play with. Get to be the first one on YouTube to show them off. Uh, that other than you know the people who do the Nerf uh, updates, news kind of shows where they're showing pictures. Um, here it is in my hand, um, part of my collection. Those of you who know me. Uh, come over and hang out at the butt cave and I'll let you test my blaster. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Evan B. saying peace and hair grease. Much love. May the force be with you, and uh, I don't care who you vote for. I'm going to like you anyway. Night, guys. I'm for the rebellion!